Hey guys, Rachel Pruitt here, Rachel Pruitt Beauty, and I got some new things I'm so excited to show you. So I got the Exotic and Hypnotic Collection. Let me pull this up so I can figure out what, and that's what we're going to do on our face today. So today we're going to do the Exotic and Hypnotic Collection. So what comes in the Exotic and Hypnotic Collection? Well, first of all, this awesome, amazing bag. Oh my gosh, you guys, this bag. Let's see if I can stand up and put it on for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the Exotic and Hypnotic Collection. If you get a collection, you would get this bag. The chain is um, able to come off. So if you don't want the chain on the bag, you just want the bag, just like that. Um, it, that is available too. So I'm gonna do that collection with you guys and what comes in the collection is the bag, um, an eye palette of your choice. I chose palette one because mine went missing. You get uh, eye primer, eye primer. You get um, a dip and draw eyeliner and a regular pencil liner. So I chose black on both of those. You get a 3D mascara, and you get, that's it, and that's all you get. I was gonna say, and you get this, but I have this because my Epic is at the very bottom of the tube, so I needed to open a new one. So that is what we are going to do today. I just was excited to show you that, and I'm excited to show you. We now have um, these eyeshadow custom palettes and you can get them in a palette of four like so which has the four in them which is you know the March Kudos I've been showing or you can get a palette of eight let me see if I can get it open Ugh. palette of eight and these are our eight new colors which I wanted to do the eight new colors today, but um, I'm gonna do the exotic and hypnotic one first, and then we'll move on to doing this palette, the, some of these new colors. I'm really excited about the orange, and I'm really excited about this blue, and this color here. I really think this is gonna be a pretty color. Oh, and this one right here, I really like like greens and blues. So I'm gonna do that. And then I also got, so Unique now has, um, we have all these eye mineral pigments that are pressed shadows now. Let me see if I can get this out. So it comes like this, but this is a little sheath. So this is like a little cover for it. I'm trying to get, so see, you go like this. All right, and then that's what you got. This over here. And then you open it up and you can custom Put all of your colors in your, and it has a mirror, which you gotta pull this little off, this little plastic thingy. Why does my nose start to run every time I start the video? I don't understand that. My nose is now running. All right, so you get that. Um, there's four missing because they are in the quad because I've been showing quads for the March Kudos. So if you want this, this is $25. And I forget how much the 8 one is, but I just got the 8 one to put all the new colors in. Throw that to the side. Let me find my little, my little... There it is. I'm going to turn to the side because my nose is running. One second. I don't want y'all to have to see me rub my nose every five seconds. Alright, so let's go on to the exotic and hypnotic collection. Get this mirror so I can see myself. I'm going to start with the eye primer. So it comes with an eye primer, but I'm not going to open this. I'm going to save it to sell to somebody who might want this because I already have one. I actually have. I already have two, actually. So um, I'm just going to use the one that I have open already rather than open a new one. So I'm going to use the eye primer. About that much. On the eye, on the eye, on the eye. Put that on there. Now these pigments um, are not um, primer infused. So the ones in the custom palettes are primer infused and the ones in these addiction palettes are not. So you would want to use this primer 
not only does it make it last longer for the day, but um, it makes the colors pop even more. So I'm going to put that to the side and I'm going to do palette number one today. So palette number one. Yes. Yes. So if you are into just the natural look, the nudes, this would be your palette. And so I'm going to go in with the color Chipper. This color here, Chipper. I'm going to put that in the crease as a transition. And uh, this primer has really made this chipper pop even more. Because usually when I put it on, it's like a dull brown. And this is making it a darker brown. So, I'm going to put that in the crease. The transition color is chipper. I'm just gonna, I don't like for it to get too much in the corner, so I'm just gonna blend that away from the corner. How do you like it? I love this chipper color. This is probably one of my favorite browns that we have. You can also use chipper as um, in, your, in your brows to do your brows. All right, so I'm gonna go back and forth in a little bit of circular motion. I'm just kind of blending that in there, back and forth. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And uh, I'm gonna blend a little bit with my finger, make sure it's not, let's see, let's take a little gander and see if it's even on both sides. It's looking a little more dark on this side, so I'm gonna go back in over here because I want them to match, of course. All right, I think that's good. That looks good in my mirror. I hope it looks good in your mirror. And then I'm gonna go in with the deluxe brush and I'm just going to use the color Brassy. Brassy is this color, it's a gold shimmer. So I'm gonna go in with Brassy and I'm gonna put that on my lid. Like so. And this will be a nice natural look. It will not be bold colors, very natural, very neutral, very everyday, a good everyday look. I like the way that this brassy pops on the eyes. All right, and then I'm gonna go in underneath the eye with the um, chipper again, and I'm gonna put it underneath the lash line here so that it kind of blends together. Like so. Like so. Very nice. Very nice. Looks so. She, she said anytime. I wasn't even talking to her. I didn't even say her name. Alexa, did I say your name? Sorry, I don't know that one. She doesn't know. You just talking to me because you're bored? Are you bored, Alexa? Alexa, are you bored? I don't get bored. She doesn't get bored. All right, so now I've put some down underneath the eyes, like so, and then we're going to go in and, do I want, no, I'm just gonna leave it like this. Sometimes I'll put a brow highlight. Yeah, let's go ahead, let's do it. Let's put a brow highlight. So I'm gonna clean off my brush and then with this elated right here, it's a matte uh, neutral color. I'm gonna put that under the brow right here. Very natural, very natural. All right, then I'm gonna go in with our pencil liner in the color Perfect Black. The color is perfect. 
It's a black color. Nope, that was the liquid liner. Oh, that's not a dip and draw. That's just a, I thought it was the dip and draw liner. That's not the dip and draw liner, you guys. So when you get this, I thought it said dip and draw on here. It says, precision pencil liner, 3D, and it says dip and draw eyeliner. It says dip and draw eyeliner, but I did not get a dip and draw eyeliner. I got a precision liquid eyeliner. Maybe they made a mistake on there. All right, so I'm gonna do the perfect black and I'm gonna put it in the waterline, like so. I don't generally wear eyeliner in my waterline very often, but I am today for this purpose of sharing this. Oh, this is different too. This is different. I don't remember it being like that. Okay, so now we're going to do a wing. Now we're going to do a wing. How I do my wing is I draw a line out like so. And then I attach the line Here, like that and then I kind of tap along the base of the lashes and I tap all the way in and now I have a line there wing and make sure it looks good all right that looks good to me that looks good I'm gonna shake it up and I'm gonna do the other side so I do the same thing I do a line And then I attach the line over to the eye. And then I tap, tap, tap all along the eyelash line. And then I just try to make sure that they match. And it's looking to me like we did good. That is that, and then you get the fiber mascara, 3D fiber, and I need to open it. The box is brand new. It's a brand new fiber lash box, and that's what I will use today because that's what comes in this collection. So when you get your box, you do this, you just slide to the side, like so, and then it opens on the end here, like so, and then you open your 3D mascara, and it comes with a thing that tells you how to apply the mascara, um, and so this is the box, 
gives you instructions and then this is the package that it comes in this cute little bag here when when this mascara runs out I will sometimes use this bag for glasses eyeliners whatever sometimes I just put stuff in it to carry it around in my purse so you get two tubes you get gel and you get fibers gel fiber gel and that's how you apply it gel fiber gel so let's go with the gel this is a brand new tube let's see how this works let me get some gel on this wand make sure there's gel on the wand all right and then you go in and you put your gel on your lashes you coat the lashes with the gel Then you put on your fibers. So then you go in and you put your fibers on. And then you seal your fibers with the gel. And then you go back in over your fibers. Like so. And that's one coat. So I'm, I'm gonna do a second coat. So now I'm gonna go in again. I'm gonna put gel fiber gel one more time on this eye. I like more than one coat. I like dramatic lashes. So I'm gonna go in with this gel. But this time when I do fibers, I'm gonna focus on just the tips. I'm going to go in with these fibers and just the tips here. And I'm going to come in on the inside too. So I'm doing both sides of the lashes. I'm doing underneath the lash and on top of the lash. Like so. And are you watching them grow? Okay, and then you want to seal that in again. You want to seal your fibers so they don't fall. So I'm going in. And then I'm going to do the same because I put fibers on the inside of this lash. And then if I feel like they're clumpy or anything, I have this tool here that has this little brush and I will just brush through them to separate anything that's clumped together. Like so. And that looks good. But I want to add some epic mascara to this. I really do. But I won't today. I won't today. I won't do it because I just want to show you guys if you got just this collection what it would look like so this is if you just have 3d mascara I do like to add I'm not gonna lie I do like to add I love the epic mascara I am in love with that epic mascara which is the one step all right so now I'm gonna coat these lashes with the transplanting gel I think I just got some on my eyeshadow not cool, man. I'm going to have to go in on top of my eyeshadow and fix that. Let's fix that real quick. There. Alright, so then we go in with the fibers. some fibers on these lashes. 
Alright, so that was gel and fibers. Now we're just going to seal those fibers in with the gel. Like so. Okay. But, that was one coat. But I like two coats. So I'm going to go in, gel again. Gel again. And then I'm going to focus with these fibers on the tips. And I'm going to go now on the inside of the lash and the outside. So both sides, but mainly focusing on these tips, not near the eyeball. Okay. And then you want to seal your fibers. So I'm going to go in with the gel. And I want to go on this side as well with the gel. Because I'm sealing both sides. I put fibers on both sides. I want to seal both sides. And if I feel like they're, the lashes are getting together too much, I will go in. I have, um, we sell this little lash comb and it's a brow comb. So you use it for your brows and you use it for your lashes. This comb is metal, it's not plastic. So it gets in between these lashes pretty good and I can keep them separated. Yep, I can keep my lashes separated. I don't like for my lashes to be clumped together too much. So I will go through and separate any that are trying to stay together. All right, and so that was the 3D Fiber Mascara. If you have any fallout under your eyes, it just wipes away, like so. And then I wanna go in with the um, gel on the bottom lashes. So, I'm gonna go in here. that underneath over here put that underneath like that if I feel like any of that mascara got under the eye I just go in with this brush and it usually just wipes it away like that. Okay, so that was the collection Exotic and Hypnotic. Get this beautiful, beautiful bag. You get your 3D mascara. You get a pencil liner and a liquid liner. And you get a palette of your choice. Whatever palette you want. An eye primer. An eye primer for your eyes. And that's what you get. So I also want to put some lipstick on with you guys. So let's do some lipstick. What color lipstick do I want to wear with this neutral look today? Well, I have burgundy. I don't know if you see. I got some burgundy in my shirt. So I have a very light neutral eye. I can go with a dark lip. One second. See if I can get to my lipsticks. It's behind the camera. Behind the camera. That's a good place for it to be, huh? Behind the camera. I'm going to go with... Um, um, sensual. I like sensual. So I'm going to go with sensual. This is a matte lipstick. And it's, it's a dark wine. This is a dark lip. 
And as you can see, it's a dark wine. It goes good with the with the collar. And I need a brush to clean up around the lip. Let's see what I got here. And what I do with my little, what I do with my little thingamabobber. I'm all over the place today, you guys. All over the place. Where did I put it? It must have fell somewhere. All right, so let's go over here. Clean up under these lips. There you have it. Now I like to set mine um, with some powder. So I'm gonna go in with some Behold powder. This is Behold setting powder, and I will set these lips with that powder. I'm gonna put my finger in the powder. I'm gonna set it. Okay, now it's all set. Should need a liner, I think. A lip liner. I'm trying to give myself that little line right there. Good as it's gonna get, you guys. Good as it's gonna get. Okay, so this is the look with that exotic and hypnotic um, collection, but the lipstick did not come with the collection, so you would want to add that if you want this lipstick. The color was called Sensual, and it goes good with this little burgundy here. Okay, you guys, that's it. I hope you have a fabulous Tuesday. Thank you for tuning in.